did you try to be faithful and honourable to your wife when you took on the vow of marriage? Yes, absolutely. And you were? Yes. Until it became irretrievably broken down. Us both having tried. I think Diana was terrified. It was a big party on, on probably on three or four floors and she looked around, where's Charles, where's Charles? And then she realized that he must be downstairs on the, on the lower level in the sort of basement area. And she went down there and there they were. She just confronted Camilla and said, you know, don't, I'm not stupid, I know what's going on. Diana was shaking w w with fear and rage. On the way back in the car, she was just in hysterical tears. And her, her protection officer, Ken Wharf, was with her, and, and so and he, he confirms all this, that she just sobbed all the way home, and I don't think Charles said a word. But I think that was the turning point, really, of the relationship, because, you know, soon thereafter, I think Diana had then given up any hope of a reconciliation. But I suppose, you know, Diana wasn't stupid, and um, she thought, well, look, you know, I just... I'll go and see what this is like, because they would be people that, that she was completely unassociated with. These, these weren't her friends, these were all friends of Camilla's. So, you know, if you try and put yourself in that position, would you go to a party when you didn't like any of them? So there, there had to be uh, uh, a raison d'etre here, I, I guess, and I think Diana wanted to see for herself. The Prince of Wales had just been on TV to admit adultery with Camilla Parker Bowles. And the princess of that evening was due to go out to the Serpentine Gallery to see her old friend, Lord Palumbo, and open his new exhibition. I can't go. I'm not going. I'm not going. It'll be too humiliating. The whole world now knows that Charles has been having an affair. He's admitted it. You are going, I said. I've got nothing to wear. Yes, you have got something to wear. I went up to her wardrobe room and picked out a Christina Strombolian dress with a fishtail. This is what you're going to wear, I said. I can't fit into it. Yes, you can. Put it on. So she slipped it on. Now, to complement that, I think we should have the pearl choker and the sapphire. That's all you need. High heels and those jewels. Right, she put them on and she looked a million dollars. Remember, when you go out there, I said, you stride, you hold your head high. You smile, you engage, firm handshake. Say to yourself, I am Diana, Princess of Wales, and I am here to stay.